Corporation Commission of Inquiry today, chaired by the former President of the Supreme Court of Appeal, Justice Lexham Party. The Commission heard testimony from two PIC employees who went through the legislation and the rules under which the Public Investment Corporation is supposed to operate. The Commission was appointed by President Sir Ramaphosa to interrogate allegations that the PIC made questionable investments with the funds it manages, the majority of which are for government workers. In the morning session, Vilna Lowe, the acting company secretary at PIC, took the commission through the various legislation governing the PIC. One of the areas she outlined was on how the PIC board was appointed. We don't see the cabinet memorandum which is submitted to the cabinet, but the minister can exclude some of the PIC's nominations and include his own nominations. And as I understand the process that even at the Cabinet Committee and at Cabinet, the, some of the um, proposed names can be rejected and new ones can be um, added to the list. After the lunch break, PIC's Executive Head of Impact Investment, Roy Rachda, took the Commission through the risk management, due diligence and other processes the organization undergoes before embarking on an investment. Prompted by questions raised by panelist and investment banker Emmanuel Lidija, Rachda also outlined the fund limits for businesses they invest in. So for example, if we take again on the GPF, it's limited to 30% of the committed capital, so let's say we have a private placement memorandum allocation of 10 billion, so it's limited to 3 billion, but a person can do, we don't have a limit in terms of the number of transactions, but in aggregate it must not exceed 3 billion. The hearings are set to continue on Tuesday with the Executive Head of Research and Development, Listed Investments and Human Resources expected to give testimony on how their departments work. And